Hi everybody, this is Dino Sasha here, and welcome back to another review, and today we're gonna take a look at the figure that is the Schleich 2021 Caprasuchus. Now, Caprasuchus, which name means boar crocodile, is a genus of Mahajangasuchid crocodile form from the late Cretaceous period, about 95 million years ago, who has now thrived in Africa. The length was about 3 meters, 10 feet long, and weight is about two tons, or whatever it is. Now, Caprasuchus is one of the more obscure species, and the only species called Caprasuchus saharicus. Now, its closest relatives to the Caprasuchus was none other than Anatosuchus and Laganosuchus, one of which is Mahajungasuchus. Now. This bizarre animal, not to be confused with that, is a member of the family Mahajangasukade family, which is a different species of crocodiliforms. Now, you know why the name of the nickname Borcroc? It's because due to long, lower fangs on each teeth. Now, it is known to hunt down prey such as the Nigerosaurus, only take down a juvenile instead. They're predators, and they're basically carnivorous, to eat meat. Now, let's talk about the crocodile-like animal, for example. It's the sculpt. I mean, the sculpt is a bit edgy about it, but the sculpt is a lot more like crocodile than the actual crocodile form, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's a lot of crocodile-like scoots all over it, and the sculpting is very nice. Well... To, to the cover, it's very opinion-like, which I like how this animal has a very decent sculptation. So, let's talk about the pose. It is actually sniffing pose. It's just sniffing air to locate the prey or anything. Basically, an animal trying to find food or water or thinking of shelter. Yeah, I like details. It's a lot crocodile-like details like for scoots. Even the tail, I mean, it's impressive to see the crocodile-like scoots. Even the details has a bit rough, which not smooth enough anyway. Which, basically, a really cool design for a crocodilian-like animal. Which, basically, in my opinion, Caprasuchus is an actual member of the crocodiles, even the crocodiliform, which basically an animal that basically wanted to. So, color scheme time. Let's take a look at the color scheme. Let's take a look at the something a bit else about it. Was its colors on each thing. It has brown stripes, which is brown stripe all across from the body to tail. Even the orange the colors all over it. Especially the brownish on the head. Which, in my opinion, there is everywhere in the orange. Especially the white underbody, including from the head to tail. Including the yellow middle of it, and especially the claws were a bit light silver, which is called light gray anyway, but the head is pretty nice. Now, according to calculation that the Caprasuchus has a unique teeth, and I like how it sculpted the mouth, and it has an articulated jaw. So the jaw looks articulated, and I can see it open its mouth, and the tongue sculpted very well. Now, turns out, which, when I took a look at the head, when I see it, it's on U shapes. Now, kind of like an alligator, which it resembles to an alligator that it was before. Now, it is a cool design, and I like the eyelids on it, it because it had look at that eye pupils. It's kind of more like a crocodile, I'm not gonna say. Now, the accuracy is pretty nice. It's more like scientifically accurate Caprasuchus. I'm not gonna say, it's pretty damn good. Now, apart from that, we're gonna bring up a ruler, so let's give this a Caprasuchus a measure. In terms from the length from tip of the head, always tip of the tail. We're gonna reaching at about, as we can see, it's almost reached up to 6.1 inches, and which is only at about, as we can see, it only at about, as we can see the size measurements, it's around as, um, I don't know what the size is, but it's 20 and a half centimeters, and the height on top of the head, we're gonna take a look at the head, we're reaching at about like 
two and a half, two point twelve inches, and which is only at about, as we can see, it is around as as you can see, it's seven centimeters. Now, for comparison, I'm gonna bring up the only Capra Surcus fake, and that's right, I'm talking to a Safari LTD 2010 Capra Surcus. Now, they kind of look alike, but they actually live alongside. But the only difference is the snout. Now, take a look at the closer to the snout, because the Safari Caprasuchus is a lot more like a crocodile, while the Schleich one is a lot more like an alligator. So, I'm gonna link the Safari Capro in a link in the description box down below. And the rating of it, and I'm gonna give it a solid, and I mean really nicely, 9.5 out of 10, which is amazing figure. Not gonna say it's a pretty damn good on that opinion. Because all the Cretaceous creatures may fear of this Vorkroc, and I deserve it a second chance to bring this thing back. And people thinking that the Caprasuchus is a lot like an alligator, but if you know about this figure, let me know in the comments. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications, so you'll never miss the video, and leave a comment below, and I hope to see you for another review about the Collecte 2014 Mosasaurus. Goodbye everyone, and see you all next time.